Right now on Daily Connection, bad behavior on the school bus. A father says he's sorry after unleashing a tirade on his daughter's bullies. What would you do? Shown the door why one British couple got tossed from their hotel, accused of doing something that you might do quite often. Word. Anybody who's beaten or threatened has a right to document it and show the world that this is what happened. And putting rumors to rest, attorneys for Mel Gibson's ex try to separate fact from fiction, speaking out about that bitter custody case. I worried about him like I would my own children and wished that there was some way I could tell his parents how he was driving because there was no one in the car with them. And tattle tailgating. It might drive your kids crazy when perfect strangers call in to rat them out on the road. Daily Connection starts right now. Keeping you connected, I'm Katie Turr. And I'm Linda Becaro. Welcome. We've got lots for you today, including insurance for everything, unfortunately, even for divorce. <laughs> and why would a grocery store tell shoppers not to buy what it's selling? But first, we start with a story that will get the blood pressure of just about any parent going and anyone that's ever been picked on. A man in Florida, you may have seen the video, stormed a school bus when he discovered that the kids have been making fun of his daughter, who's disabled. Since then, the town and schools across the country have been left with the questions, how do you stop bullying and how far is too far for parents trying to protect their kids? NBC's Carrie Sanders has today's top story. On a school bus in suburban Orlando, a father's fury caught on a security camera. My daughter get on this damn bus and a mother with her, and now this is yet yet. 42-year-old James Willie Jones, who was arrested for disorderly conduct, admits his temper got the better of him. I handled it the wrong way when I went on a bus. Jones explained why he went so far as to threaten to kill students on the bus. He says they were bullying his 13-year-old daughter, who suffers from cerebral palsy. It's not about me. It's about kids that are getting bullied, going to school, even if you're walking to school. My action was very much out of line, out of character for me. But my daughter, I still love her and I support her. While school officials say Jones never complained to them that his daughter was being harassed, in the deputy's report, Jones alleges schoolboys on the bus smacked her on the back of the head, twisted her ear, shouted rude comments at her. And as this security camera footage from the day before reveals, tossed an open condom. The National Center for Education Statistics reports a quarter of all students say that they're bullied on a weekly or daily basis. But for disabled children, it's far worse. 85% say they've been targeted. Kids with disabilities are oftentimes targeted by bullying because of their vulnerable reaction to the behavior. Whether it's getting mad or getting scared or getting angry, they're providing a response that makes the, feel, the, the person bullying feel in power and in control. The National Center for Bullying Prevention, PACER.org, estimates 160,000 students stay home from school every day fearing they'll be bullied. Now add James Jones' daughter to the list. She's in a hospital because of what her father calls debilitating anxiety, a result of the bullying. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Miami. So heartbreaking. It's a terrible story. I know. And you I, understand the point of view of the parent because they're really trying to protect their kids. Absolutely. I mean, he admitted he said he didn't handle it uh, the, as best he could, but you also wonder, you know, what about anyone else? Why aren't they reporting the bullying? How is it being handled? So it's one thing to bully, uh, you know, just any other student, but one that has a disability oh. like that is it's just so over the top, and it, it's just not okay in any way, shape, or form. Not at all. Not at all. Well, a town that may get to throw out their elected leaders is actually rejoicing today, but what the political and financial future of Bell, California will be like is really anyone's guess at this point. The mayor, the former city manager, and most of the city council are in jail today following a stunning set of arrests. Eight in all were charged with misappropriating millions of dollars of public money. The L.A. district attorney says officials use the town like a piggy bank, and it's quite confident that the charges will stick. Being paid excessive salaries is not a crime. That's not a crime. Illeg illegally obtain those salaries uh, is a crime. I would charge my mother if I had evidence against my mother. The arrests come after local reports reveal the officials' exorbitant salaries. For example, the city manager earned more than double the salary of President Obama. 
L.A.'s city council is now pushing for a court order to seize authority from those officials, and the town may owe millions in possibly illegally collected taxes. Katie, over to you. My hometown. Well, the family at the center of the half-billion egg recall says it's really, really sorry. The owner of Wright County Egg issued a statement ahead of his congressional testimony today. He says he's horrified and wants to apologize to anyone who may have been sickened. He didn't comment about the egg producer's frequent run-ins with regulators. Wright County Egg is one of the two farms that produced eggs linked to up to 1,500 cases of salmonella poisoning. Linda, what do you think about that? Oh, that's a tough situation for that family. <laughs> but a lot of people got really quite ill for weeks at a time. Yeah. Well, could you imagine talking about grocery shopping and imagine going to the grocery, buying some groceries and seeing don't buy stickers on some of the food? Well, Whole Foods is a labeling wild caught seafood to help shoppers make smarter choices that help the environment. A green sticker means that the fish is abundant and caught responsibly. Yellow means some concerns and red means avoid it. It is overfished and caught in ways that harm the environment. Whole Foods is still selling red label fish, saying that they want to give vendors a chance to clean up their act. And this is great. You know, there's even a little handout that this organization, Blue Ocean Institute, hands out that uh, also tells you within, uh, just in general, all the different types of fish and, and what's uh, sort of environmentally safest to eat. You know, actually, I saw that the other day, and I made a decision to choose a different fish because of that, so I think it's pretty helpful. There you go. It's working. <laughs> Moving on, a British couple says they were accused of writing a bad review on TripAdvisor.com and then thrown out of their hotel. The couple say they never complained during their stay at the Golden Beach Hotel in Blackpool, England, and the only thing they ever asked for was an extra towel. But on day two, they say the hotel manager banged on their door, accused them of writing a negative re review on TripAdvisor, and told them to get out. Police confirmed management asked the couple to leave, though no offense was committed. That's not nice. No, Can not at all. I guess the key, the lesson in this story is never write your name, <laughs> perhaps. Because, you know, people do that, and you would think that it would be, you know, in everyone's best interest, right? Maybe the hotel would... Get I mean, you can have together. your own opinion and not get kicked out, right? Yeah, I know, yeah. Well, I guess maybe we're not for this used to being very vocal. <laughs> well, Katie, you know, everyone, the wait is almost over. American Idol about to name its new judges. Now, the question is, can it hold on to its ratings? I don't think so. <laughs> we'll find <laughs> out. If all the buzz is true, Aerosmith frontman Steven Tyler and Jennifer Lopez I've will be named to the like judges panel at a news conference in it, less than an hour. Go, They're expected to join Randy Jackson as the show reverts back to a three-judge panel. The show's ten Tenth season is going to get a lot of scrutiny. Ratings slipped last season when it tried a four-judge format, and next season will be the first without Simon. I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's going to keep its ratings. Yeah, it's tough. You know, it's it's been what ten years or so. So I think people, you know, now people he's got Simon has Simon. the X factor, right? They tuned in for him being really mean. I know. Saying the things that we'll they see wanted to say. Maybe Stephen Tyler will be mean. I don't think so. I don't know. And just to prove there are markets in everything, we present divorce insurance. Celebrities might want to use this. <laughs> Wedlock divorce insurance is offering a payout for when you untie the knot. The insurance costs as little as. $16 a month and high-end policies can pay out six figures. Wedlock does require buyers to pay for at least four years before they can collect. That way they discourage people who marry just for money. It's good thing they have that clause. I know, but it's so sad. You know, I mean, there's also like a website which shall remain nameless, which allows married people to date. I mean, what's what going that? on? What is the deal with that I website? Know, I always watch the commercial and think it's horrible. Nothing is sacred anymore. No, nothing, nothing. Speaking of, unfortunately, not great marriages, it was quite the summer for Mel Gibson and his estranged girlfriend friend, actually. You had the release of those, remember, those explosive audio tapes and the allegations of extortion. Now, her lawyers are going on the offensive, speaking out exclusively to NBC News about their client side of the story. NBC's Kristen Welker reports. The battle between Mel Gibson and Oksana Gorgorieva exploded this summer with the release of those now infamous audio tapes. I will make your life miserable, all right? Tapes which seem to show Gibson berating Grigorieva, his ex-girlfriend and mother of his youngest child. The two are locked in a bitter custody battle. What kind of man is that? Hitting a woman when she's holding a child in her hand, breaking her teeth twice in the face. What kind of man is that? Now, as their ugly dispute grinds on, her lawyers are telling her side of the story, exclusively releasing these images to today, showing Grigorieva visiting an orphanage in Chernobyl. They've also released a photo showing the happy couple on vacation in Costa Rica in 2008. These images, a departure from the summer-long drama, which could now result in criminal charges for both. You have evidence on both sides, each side pointing to the other, each side accusing the other of making 
uh, criminal uh, acts against one another. Gibson's camp has accused Grigorieva of extortion while she claims domestic violence against him. Anybody who's beaten or threatened has a right to document it and show the world that this is what happened. Otherwise, it's going to be Mel Gibson, one of the most popular, loved superstars in the world, against a lone woman. Who's going to believe her? She has a right to prove that it's, this really happened to her. But anyone who says that she demanded money in exchange for holding these back is a liar. Gibson has tried to keep a low profile since the tapes were released, but just last week he had this run-in with paparazzi. You're the guy from the other place. Uh-huh. What's the matter? Got nothing better to do? Despite his feud with Grigorieva, Gibson still has the support of some Hollywood heavyweights. Jodie Foster, friend and director of his upcoming movie, The Beaver, said in the October issue of More Magazine, when you love a friend, you don't abandon them when they are struggling. I hope I can help him get through this dark moment. So far, no criminal charges have been filed against either Grigorieva or Gibson. An ongoing fight with a young child caught in the middle. Kristen Welker, NBC News, Los Angeles. In more celebrity trouble, Paris Hilton will have to get her sushi stateside. Japan will not let the heiress into the country because of her drug offense. It's a strict policy that's caused problems for a lot of celebrities, including Madonna, the Rolling Stones, and Paul McCartney. Hilton flew to Japan yesterday to promote her new fashion and perfume lines, but was turned away at the airport. She had pleaded guilty this week to misdemeanor drug charges related to her Las Vegas cocaine bust. And still ahead, the agony of defeat. Maybe those sky-high heels aren't worth it after all. Oh, no. Mm. Plus, the newly revealed family secret that could blow a hole in the story we've all been told about Titanic's final night. So check your terms on your credit card, but absolutely always pay with a credit card, not even a debit. Everyday advice on Money Matters with Glamour Magazine contributor Carmen Wong Ulrich. And what a bright idea, going green and Putting that pooper scooper to good use, it's all just ahead. But first, as we go to break, let's get a look at the weather from Chris Cimino. An unseasonably warm day, the final day of summer. Look for high temperatures climbing into the low and mid 80s, about 84 in town. The sun will mix with increasing clouds. And as we go through tonight, especially the first half of the night, a shower, a thunderstorm possible, first in the northwestern suburbs. Then we all run the risk overnight, low of 68. Tomorrow, though, back to a mix of clouds and sunshine, still on the warm side with a high temperature of 81. As we head into Friday, could get close to a record. The record for the date is 89, forecasting a high of 88. Still low 80s on Saturday with some sunshine. Weekend stays dry, cools down on Sunday, low 70s. That's your Daily Connection forecast. This week on George to the Rescue. Yeah. For three-year-old Katie Hansen, after enduring chemotherapy, it's all about a big girl room. <laughs> Watch what George Oliphant can do for a sweet Long Island girl in the fight of her life. Saturday at 9 a.m. on NBC4 New York. Ah! Everyone agrees, Legend of the Guardians is simply awesome. With 3D as it was meant to be experienced. It's a beautiful and magical film. An epic adventure. It's thrilling, wondrous entertainment for the whole family. We're gonna find the Guardians of Gahul. Legend of the Guardians. In theaters on IMAX 3D. Rated PG. Friday. It's Empire's two rooms free sale. And which rooms you choose for beautiful new carpet is up to you. Just buy carpet for one room and get carpet for another room free. And another room free. Shop at home for the same name brands the stores carry. Enjoy professional installation, even next day. And no interest for a year. Get two rooms of quality carpet free when you buy one. Call today. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE. Today. Welcome back to Daily Connection. Are biblical accounts of Moses' parting of the Red Sea really the work of wind? Researchers from the National Center for Atmospheric Research say powerful winds could have pushed apart the waters and created a land bridge for the Israelites to cross. They say computer models show there would need to be about 12 hours of 63 mile an hour winds. But researchers say it was probably not the Red Sea that actually parted, but an area of the Nile Delta. This is really interesting. It I, is. That's sustained winds. I know, 12 hours? hours? <laughs> that, seems that seems like a like lot. Like... Uh, but, you know, maybe it was just some natural phenomenon they were trying to explain, but 
I don't know. It's it just a long time for that high of winds. But if that happened, it's extraordinarily interesting. More research needed, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> and I'll do another storied aquatic event. A relative of a Titanic survivor says the ship would have missed the iceberg if the guy hadn't behind the wheel hadn't turned it the wrong way. The granddaughter of a Titanic officer told Britain's Daily Telegraph that a crew member accidentally turned right instead of left and sailed straight into the iceberg. Now, the woman's grandfather was the most senior officer to survive the 1912 disaster. She says he covered up the steering error because, of course, he was worried about the fallout. That's amazing. Two really amazing stories. Yeah, and again, you know, I mean, it, it's sort of logical. It makes sense. Um, obviously, you know, there's all the talk about, oh, it was, you know, the grandest ship that would never sink, and so people wonder, oh, maybe if, you know, there was something to that, but... Uh, Holding that secret inside, though, for such a long time? I know. Could you was, imagine? That's you know, Even after these the, years. the movie, they should have brought it out with the movie. We should. Well, I'm <laughs> sure we'll get James, Cam James Cameron, right? We'll get him on it. Exactly. Now, this is not something James Cameron would be interesting, interested in. Is your bank account sending out an SOS? Financial S expert Carmen Wong Ulrich has some simple tips to help you navigate these tough economic times and protect your money. This time of year, we are all super, super busy, so I've got some very, very quick answers to your everyday money questions. Okay, for your first quick money Q&A, the question is, should I pay down my mortgage or pad my 401k? Here's the thing, do not pay down the mortgage, that's a no, and this is because mortgage rates are so, so low, it's cheap money. The mortgage market, the housing market, it's gonna go up a little, little bit, You've got to diversify, put money in the 401k and pay the minimum on your mortgage. So next quick money cue, are fluorescent bulbs worth the extra cost? Well, yes, they are two ways. First of all, they last much, much longer years as opposed to regular bulbs. And that saves you a lot of money in the long run. Also, they will bring down your electric bills. So yes, go for those fluorescent bulbs. Here's another quick money cue for you. Does the cash only rule apply to travel? No, definitely not. Here's why, you need to book your travel with a credit card because of purchase protection. And a lot of you may also have additional travel insurance. So check your terms on your credit card, but absolutely always pay with a credit card, not even a debit. So those are some quick answers to your everyday money questions. And hopefully if you follow that advice, you're not only gonna save time, but money. And you can check out more of Carmen Wong Ulrich's money tips in the October issue of Glamour. It's on newsstands right now. Up next, One City's message to parking ticket recipients. It's a stretch. Swear off those four-letter words and strike a pose instead. I'm absolutely speechless. I'm like shaking. I can't stop. I'm so excited. Career opportunities, famous names in the fashion world, helping the next generation get their start. And road rules, how your friends, neighbors, and even strangers can help keep your kids in line. Minute Clinic at CVS Pharmacy makes it easy to get a flu shot, even with my busy schedule. I got my flu shot on Saturday afternoon. Wouldn't work best for me. We got flu shots for the whole family, and we didn't even have to make an appointment. At Minute Clinic, you can get a flu shot when it's convenient for you. We're open every day, evenings and weekends too. No appointment necessary. And we accept most insurance. Flu shots your way at Minute Clinic inside select CVS pharmacies. Answer your healthcare calling today. Would you like to begin? Ready to train for opportunities in the healthcare industry? Then call Sanford Brown Institute today. Want to check out some of the career training options at Sanford Brown? Medical assisting, medical billing and coding, diagnostic medical ultrasound. Would you like a brochure? Then call 888-556-0304, 888-556-0304. American workers have served their country well. They've built our cities, power plants, ships. Now, many are discovering that they gave their lives. If you or a loved one suffers with mesothelioma or lung cancer, you can fight back. Levy Phillips and Koningsberg is a pioneer in asbestos litigation, winning some of the largest verdicts in the country. Call for your free mesothelioma guide with two DVDs and over 100 pages of legal and medical information. This is pretty crazy. Delaware Senate candidate Christine O'Donnell is taking criticism. Did you hear about this? Because she once said that she dabbled in witchcraft. Yeah, everyone's talking about this. O'Donnell was like, if one more person claims I'm a witch, I will take legal action against them and their little dog, too. <laughs>
And sure, you know, but now Lindsay Lohan, she failed her first uh, post-rehab drug test. Now she faces 30 days in jail. Now didn't she face 30 days the last time she went to jail? <laughs> what exactly constitutes a day in the Los Angeles legal system? Huh? <laughs> Are they like Verizon minutes? Is that how it works? <laughs> well, I mean, either go to jail or not. What are you doing? Time functions differently in California. <laughs> well, tonight, Jay welcomes Betty White to the show, and Josh Brolin joins Jimmy to talk a little Wall Street sequel. You can tune in starting at 11.30 tonight right here on NBC4. Now, to any woman who's ever endured the aching feet and sore back that oh, come yeah. from wearing high heels, it may have been for naught, unfortunately. Oh. A study from a British university says men don't notice when women wear high heels. Researchers say heels don't appear to live up to the reputation of making women's legs look taller or her curves more alluring. The team is that same one that assessed which male dance moves work best on women a couple years ago. I saw that. I don't trust them. <laughs> I don't trust them either. Those dance moves were not cute. You know what? I, I don't know. I argue with that. And I think it, I feel nice when I have a pair of heels. They're, they are uncomfortable, but you sort of feel, you know, a little more glamorous. You do, and your clothes do fit better. And I'm going to disagree with everybody and say that my back hurts less when I'm wearing heels right. than when I'm wearing flats. Although I wish more women maybe would design shoes because maybe they would be more comfortable, but I don't know. <laughs> no pain, no gain, right? right. <laughs> well, speaking of designers, models, also money and power, well, it's just another day in the world of fashion's elite. But now a few college students have the chance to jump into that glamorous world. NBC's Joelle Gargiulo reports from the runway. Fashion shows are where trends are made, models discovered, and creations come to life. But something's different about this show. Backstage clothing racks aren't filled by the works of top designers. Rather, 22 students hand-selected from the Rhode Island School of Design, all competing for top spots and some major grant money. And let me tell you about the judging panel. It's pretty intimidating. Designers Nicole Miller, Derek Lamb, and L editor Josie are just a few of the big names. I have to say I'm very impressed with the innovation and the creativity and the technique. But what's going to set the winners apart from everyone else? I think at this point it's great just to see creativity, but I think the most important thing is do I feel I'm getting inspired? Model after model, look after look, the judges were dazzled by the array of innovative designs. The lucky winners, L.A. native turned New York City resident Jason Wu, Jessica Castellano, and Caroline Hughes. The event culminated in nearly year-long collaboration, and by the looks of this $25,000 winner, it was totally worth it. The most incredible thing ever to hear my name being out. I'm absolutely speechless. I'm like shaking. I can't stop. I'm so excited. L editor and reality TV star Joe Z couldn't be happier with the winning designers. He hopes the award catapults their careers. I have been inspired by so many mentors and so many people that I've come across in my working career that I only want to pass that on. So for me, it's really about helping instead of fighting. For NBC, this is Joelle Gargiulo in New York. And there's a philosophical new take on parking tickets in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The city is handing out about 40,000 <laughs> tickets with pictures of yoga poses and instructions on how to do them. It's part of a public art project. The city says it hopes the yoga illustrations will have a calming influence on people who've just been told they owe the city money. <laughs> but a few people who've been handed the tickets, surprise, say it's not working. Yeah, it, just try that in New York. No, not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> well, parking tickets are the only unique dues in Cambridge. A dog park is getting some do attention, get that, for <laughs> being powered by poop. Good joke. <laughs> People can toss their dog's waste into a special container that turns it into methane gas that powers the park's lamp. Now, this is all part of a month-long project called Park Spark to get people thinking about waste. And it looks like there is a bright side to doggy do after all. Well, they don't mention the smell. I don't know about that. <laughs> Moving on. When we come back, want to know how your teen's driving when you're not there? Who needs Big Brother when you have bumper stickers? That's right. And the business end of advertising, how KFC is using butts to try to leave the competition behind. Get it? Stay with us. <laughs> Years ago, I left cable for this. I thought it would be a better deal with lots more programming. The times have changed, so I've changed too. Every month, thousands of Dish and DirecTV customers are coming back to Optimum. With IOTV, I get everything I never got with satellite. Over 100 channels of free HD, including every HD game of all nine New York sports teams. Thousands of on-demand shows I can watch at any time. News 12 and no contract to sign. Switch to Optimum now and get a special offer exclusively for Satellite TV customers. Call 1-888-717-3529 now. 
At the same time, I got super fast Optimum Online and Optimum Voice Unlimited Calling. Better services with tons of free features. And I'm saving hundreds over what I used to pay. This special offer is only available by calling now. All those years I had satellite TV, I could have been getting better services with Optimum and saved a small fortune. Dish and DirecTV customers don't miss our best offer ever. Call 1-888-717-3529 now. Ah, Paris. <laughs> Moscow. And Madrid. Get the hell out of there now! We gotta move. So this counts as our European vacation, right? Yes. Don't expect a postcard. Their vacations are classified. Wait, wait, now. What are you packing for our little trip? I like my job. Undercovers premieres tonight, 8, 7 central on NBC. Katie, who needs a billboard when you've got <laughs> backsides? KFC <laughs> wants to turn heads with its unabashedly unhealthy double down. The company is actively recruiting college women to become campus brand ambassadors for a $500 paycheck. Now, the uniform sweatpants that say double down across the butt. I guess they're adding the buns back in. They like big butts and they cannot lie. <laughs> they I, do, and the, they'll the, pay $500. It's the joke that I had to say. It's so <laughs> obvious. Makes sense. <laughs> At least it's sweat, sweatpants, so comfortable for your bigger butt. Yeah, you're going to need it. <laughs> Moving on, have you ever seen one of those How's My Driving stickers on the back of a truck? Well, now there's a similar bumper sticker for when teens are behind the wheel. NBC's Tracy Wilcox has the story. Driving down a busy North Texas road, Sharon Trey, he saw something we've all witnessed. It's a teenage driver in a Jeep who was driving very recklessly. He was going very fast. He was uh, weaving in and out of traffic. Just very, very reckless. As a mother of five, she had just one thought. I worried about him like I would my own children and wished that there was some way I could tell his parents how he was driving because there was no one in the car with him. Moments later, she pulled up behind a truck that had one of these familiar bumper stickers with a number to call with complaints about bad driving. It just clicked that I needed to do something with a sticker like that to help monitor teenage drivers and help parents have a way of knowing what their kids were doing when they're not with them. That's how her company, Tattle on My Kid, was born. Customers get a bumper sticker with a phone number on it asking strangers to call and comment on how the teen is driving. Those comments are then forwarded on to the parents. Her son was the first to rack up some complaints. My son has had four calls, two positive, two pretty negative. It gave me the opportunity, my husband and I, the opportunity to discuss it with him and he has since realized that people are going to call. Sharon says her son promised to make better decisions behind the wheel and the calls about him have stopped. But she says other calls come in almost daily and that's the point. I wanted to do my part to see if I could help save a life. And before we head out, we want to tell you what's coming up all new tonight. And this is big. Material Girl Mom Madonna is going to be live on LX tonight along with her daughter Lourdes. Hear what she has to say about her life, career, and new mother-daughter clothing line. That's tonight. Madonna live at 5 right here on NBC4. Very exciting. And yeah. then at 6, K-Rod in cuffs again. Mets reliever Francisco Rodriguez had a court appearance today. We'll tell you how that turned out at 6. And that'll do it for this edition of Daily Connection. We'll see you back here tomorrow at this time. Thanks for watching.